if you guys want to learn how to do this super cool motion tracking effect in After Effects, stay tuned. So I already created my composition. I'm working in a vertical format and I already dropped in my clip and selected the area I'm going to be working with. Once you get here, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your right panel on the side and hit tracker. Click on your clip and then hit tracker. And then you're going to go to stabilize motion and it's going to bring up this track point, this box here. And you're going to want to resize your box to the size of the object you're going to be wanting to track like this and these buttons down here is what's going to get you started this is the one frame forward and this is the play those are about the only two you're going to need so if you hit play here it's going to start analyzing the clip and trying to trace the ball and as you can see that took a decent amount of time and I actually have a decent computer so for some that don't have as good of a computer it's going to take even longer because the bigger the box the more hardware it's going to use the more stressful it's going to be on your system to try to track it so one of the workarounds I used for this project being that I had a super long clip to work with is using the keyboard shortcut page up and page down to go forward and backwards frames if you don't have page up and page down on your keyboard because it's a smaller layout you'll have to go into your After Effects keyboard layout and figure out what those two buttons are for you so if you hit page down it's gonna move forward a frame and then you're gonna just wanna move your box to the middle of the basketball you're just going to want to repeat this until the end of your clip. And I'm going to speed this up because it'll take a little bit. All right, once you guys get done with your tracking, you're gonna wanna hit the apply button, hit okay. And now you're going to have something that looks like this. It's gonna be moving all over the place and leaving black borders because it's trying to keep the object in the middle of the frame. So we're gonna go down to this button and hit tile and safe action and you're going to want to move your clip hit the, make the crosshair right in the center of the basketball or whatever you're tracking and so now it's in the center and we still have these black bars now for this clip it can simply be solved by going down to transform and scaling up and then we're going to just reposition to the middle and now we have a clean oh looks like we're gonna to have to scale in a little bit more so if you run into this problem where you've scaled in quite a bit and you don't want to scale you don't want to scale in too much because then you'll start to lose the quality so a workaround for this like I mean you can simply if you have the room to work you can just scale in until there is no black borders throughout the whole clip but another way to solve this is if we scale back out see we have quite a few borders moving around and to fix this go into effects type in motion tile and then drop this on your clip once you have motion tile put onto your clip you're gonna wanna go 200 for your output width value and 200 for your output height value and then check mirror edges so if I uncheck this you see is we have like the top row seating here on the bottom of the clip but if we mirror it 
it's going to mirror this part of the video so it almost looks like it's just more floor like you can't really tell other parts of the clip you'll be able to tell that it's mirrored like up here it's flipped over so as you can see motion tile is a great way to work around the black frames when you're doing motion tracking and help improve the quality of your video so that you're not scaled in so far that should be good for today's video i hope i helped someone out if you have any questions and other effects and transitions, please feel free to comment and I will try to do my best to help you or refer you to a video if I don't know how to do it. Have a blessed day. Thank you.